So I feel like I need to extend a bit of an apology for the sort of disorganization of some of my more massive playlists. Um, you can see if you take a closer look at my channel, gosh, I've got over like a thousand uh, uploads at this point. And uh, a lot of them, uh, of course, I've broken them down into playlists, which should hopefully make it easier to find uh, topics that uh, you as a particular listener are, are interested in uh, viewing and hearing. But uh, some of them are pretty unwieldy, and I wanted to especially um, bring some uh, insight and light into anybody who wishes to navigate my playlist on the Lankavatara Sutra. Unfortunately, in that playlist, I have not separated out actual um, excerpts or quotes from the sutra from commentary by Suzuki, D.T. Suzuki. Uh, and um, you'll probably pick up the fact that what I'm uh, focused on in my recitation regarding the Lanka is the two-volume series by D.T. Suzuki, one volume of which is the translation of the sutra itself, and the other being his studies in the Lanka. But the kicker there is that the, the, the volume that has the sutra itself also has introductory comments by Suzuki. So, you know, it, it, you're, it's not going to be totally clean in terms of, you know, one after another after another. Um, what I'll try to do is, you know, make the actual unabridged uh, pieces of the sutra, my recitation of the unabridged sutra itself, which I'm slogging through bit by bit, and I'm committed to continue on through the end, you'll see all those sort of start with something like chapter 1, part 1, or chapter 2, part 30, or chapter 2, part 50, or whatever. So I'll try to make all of those uh, elements within that playlist that start with chapter and part continuous or contiguous so that you know you could start like at the, at the beginning and, and it'll automatically work its way through. But interspersed both before and after those unabridged excerpts are uh, about three other kinds of things. One are excerpts that pertain to a particular chapter of the uh, scripture or the sutra, which in the Suzuki translation are designated with Roman numerals. And those you'll see indicated by the designation So when you see that verbiage, you know that those are actual excerpts from the Lanka. And you can see what the reference is as far as the chapter number, uh, which again in the book is in Roman numerals. A third element in the playlist are, I think there are only three, uh, where I've pulled some excerpts and made explicit commentaries. And at the very get beginning of the playlist, I have some description of the, uh, of the Vijnanas and Suzuki's generalized uh, characterization of the Lanka. Uh, I felt like that would be helpful um, sort of as an introduction for people that are unfamiliar with the uh, Lanka and or with the basic concept of the Vijnanas, which is kind of a core concept in parts of the uh, scripture. But then there are two other kinds of components to the playlist, and I hope you're not getting too uh, irretrievably lost in my verbiage here, but there are a whole bunch of videos or uploads within this playlist that will start with something like Suzuki on. Okay. And where it says Suzuki on such and so topic, whether I reference in the title his studies book or not, Those are going to be from the studies volume, and I've not done those in any particular order. So you can kind of hit those according to whether or not uh, the thing that he's focused on sort of catches your interest. And then finally, there's one more, if you can bear with me, and that is where I have a designation of D.T. Suzuki's intro to the Lakavatara Sutra, part so-and-so, okay? And there, those actually are in order, and those come from, again, the introduction to the volume that has his 
translation in it. Okay, so those are the various pieces that are in, embedded within this playlist. Again, thank you for your patience in uh, <laughs> going through this particular playlist. Uh, I guess you're entitled to claim the merit of a, a bodhisattva exercising the paramita of patience or kashanti if you're able to you know, make your way through this, but uh, it's worth it because this is a great sutra. It talks in more explicit terms about some of the basic elements and concepts within Mahayana Buddhism, while at the same time emphasizing over and over that the truth is beyond words and concepts and scriptures.